I'm Jesse Dufton, uh, I work for Intelligent Energy and my job title is Principal Patent Engineer. Uh, what it essentially means is that I look after their intellectual property portfolio. So I make uh, hydrogen fuel cells for a range of markets. I did my PhD on another clean energy technology material uh, and I had a clean interest in intellectual property um, and my current role enables me to work in both of those fields. In my spare time I'm a rock climber and that's really exposed me to the like real world effects of climate change and if I can have a career that helps to mitigate that then that's yeah very fulfilling. Text-to-speech technology is absolutely critical for me. My site's degenerated to the point where I'm no longer able to read anymore, so I'm totally reliant on screen readers to be able to interact with computers and phones, tablets, etc. There are a couple of instances where being blind but using a screen reader actually gives you some advantages. It reads what's actually there, not what you think is there. So that's a kind of an advantage, especially in my line of work where real accuracy is critical. You know one word can make all the difference. Being blind does force you to develop a whole range of skills that um, just aren't required if you're sighted. The problem solving, the uh, determination, the coming at things from a totally different angle does provide a whole host of benefits that you, know, you wouldn't necessarily get if I didn't have the visual impairment. I always think that it's really good if a visually impaired person can find a role where they're the source of information rather than needing to take information in. That's really going to be what sets you instead, i.e. employ me because of my, my knowledge, my skills. That's what they value about, about me. I think that work's just a fairly fundamental part of life, really. It's really important because it enables you to pick your path through life and determine your future, really. It's, it's, it's integral. If anyone thought that I wasn't able to do my role because of my lack of sight, they'd be incredibly surprised. It's something that is there. I can't change it. There's no point kind of worrying about it. I just try and kind of push that to the back and get on with, with life and the way that I want to live it, really. <laughs>